This is the Northwest Training and Development Team and Pathways Daily Coronavirus Update. Today's update gives more details about the government's changes to what we should do when we're going out of our home. Remember, if you are someone who is most at risk of becoming very seriously ill if you catch the virus, government advice is that you should still stay at home. We explained in yesterday's update, the government says we can now enjoy more time outside. We can go out to exercise as many times as we want to each day. We can travel as far as we want to within England. We can go on day trips to visit outdoor spaces with people that we live with if we want to. We must only travel with the people that we live with unless we can keep to social distancing rules by keeping six feet or three steps away from people that we don't live with. We could do this if we were travelling by bicycle or by walking. We must not travel by car with people we don't live with because we would not be able to keep far enough away. We must return to our home at the end of the day, so while we can go on day trips, we can't stay away on holiday or visit second homes. This is to help stop the spread of the virus. The government says we must try not to use public transport unless we have to. This includes buses, trains and taxis. Some people might have to use public transport to go to work or for important shopping like food or for medical needs. Before travelling on public transport, we should think about whether our journey is really important. The government is asking us to think about whether we can use a bicycle or walk rather than use public transport. We should try not to use public transport in busy times like in the morning and evening when people are going to and from work unless we really need to. There have been lots of news reports about whether or not we should cover our faces when we are away from home. A face covering is to cover our nose and mouth while we are out. The government says There are no rules to say we have to cover our faces. But they advise it is a good idea to wear a face covering on public transport or in some public places where it would be difficult to keep a social distance of six feet or three steps away from other people. This will help us protect each other from the spread of the virus. They say that we should use scarves or other homemade face coverings. We should not use medical or surgical masks. These need to be saved for health and social care staff who really need them. The government says we can travel away from our home to exercise or enjoy outdoor space as long as we return home and keep social distancing rules six feet or three steps away from people we don't live with. We should try not to use public transport like buses or trains if we can. We should use scarves or other homemade face coverings when we are away from home if we can, if we are visiting places like on buses or in shops where it might be difficult to keep six feet away from other people.